Hey guys, and welcome to the first episode of Mod Breakdown, where I will be taking a look at mods you've created using tutorial lessons and videos from the Iron Workshop. And the first mod that I will be taking a look at is by Dorky Dave, who suggested it uh, on YouTube. And um, I have to tell you, it, it is quite the mod. So um, be ready for something, um, well, shall we say, not ordinary. So let's go ahead and see how this uh, looks and feels and works. I should mention that it will depend quite a lot on the success of this video, if I will be making more of these. So hopefully this is something that will be successful. And if you guys like it, then uh, obviously I'll be making more of these. So with that said, let's go ahead and look at the Dawn of Dork, um, a mod that splits Germany into many countries. So let's see what we have. All right, so I'm playing with debug mode on. As you can see, we have the nudge tool in here. And the reason that I'm doing that is so that I can take a look at the error log and, and go over these errors and see what might be causing them and how they can be potentially fixed. Now this video will be split into two parts. The first one, I will be playing the mod a little bit just to get a feel of its features and see what it's all about. And in the second part, I'll be analyzing the structure of the mod, how it's coded, uh, what errors it generates, uh, so we can take a look at that as well. All right, so let's go into single player and see what we have in here. Now we have three starting dates, two look to be the same, and one in 1939. I guess we'll start with this one. Uh, this one is not very different, neither is this one. Um, so I guess the, I guess Dorky Dave wanted to give us an option to play the vanilla game uh, with the mod uh, enabled, so that's fine. So I guess in here we'll have, oh yeah, there we go. All right, so these are the new countries that are available in the Dawn of the Dork. Uh, so let's see what we have in here. We have the DDD, uh, which seems to be, um, seems to be a, a nostalgic retrospective to an East Germany that hasn't even existed yet. All right, that sounds cool. Let's see what ideas they have. Ostalgie. Nostalgia for the former East Germany stands strong in the nation of the Teskis Democratic Daycare. <laughs> All right. Uh, we have the Deutschland divided, and I see that this is something that all of these nations, well, most of them share. Uh, and we have Mauem, which says our comrade that Tievsky has a weird obsession with walls. His Mauim keeps people out and in. All right, that's pretty cool. So these are the focuses that we have. Puppet the Papa, who's your daddy? <laughs> okay. Uh, YouTube education, oh well. Our people have a perfect scholarship in 10 minute tutorials and a PhD in Google. All right, well, I definitely like this mod already. Uh, ban microtransaction <laughs> operation. Oppression through over expensive microtransaction is now illegal. Okay, that is a state that I would actually do, wouldn't mind living in that doesn't have microtransactions. Uh, let's see what's the next one. Teacher's pet is the leader of of the free state of Bavaria. Despite his high popularity among voters, teacher's pet admits defeat in the 2019 school election. Afterwards, teacher's pet decided to become president of the free state Bavaria, which became independent of the German Federal Republic. Faced with new neighbors, new fashions, and surprisingly, a completely different timeline, 
teacher's pet must make the best of it spreading freedom and free beer. So we have smarty pants, okay, the Bavarians are both fashionable and rational. Koa oide, probably mispronouncing that. Our wise way of life has made us a nation of intellectuals. Sadly, it left our people seft Sadly, it left our people, as well as our population, head of state with no knowledge of displaying affection for our lovely milkmaidens. All right. And Deutschland divided. The sudden split of Germany through unknown forces uh, left it in a stagnant state. If only someone could unite the Germans once again. Uh, so there are some focuses here, but I don't see that they have any descriptions. Oh wow, what is this? Oh, it's the Prussian boner state. All right, that sounds interesting. <laughs> okay, uh, ruled by a ruthless tactician, the Prussian boner sees itself as the true German successor state. However, their head of state is just 1,000 of Sotos waiting for their moment in time. As a proud, upright community, even the lack of industry and men will never stop this rising land. Let's see what ideas does the Prussian boner have. The Prussian ethics are a moral code that stands for efficiency, austerity, and 150% discipline. All right, that's, that's cool. But why do why do why do we only get 15% organization and recovery rate if it's supposed to be 150? Okay. Uh, Taktion Soto is that the leader? Yeah. Okay. Uh, is just one of many Sotos, each with their own distinct character. Heil mir im Siegerkranz. Vodka industry is good. The new world order. All right, next we have Muta Erde, Mother Earth, I assume. The state of Gardenia is founding of the idea of the equality of all living things. A very strict registration guarantees this. The, le the leader, Muta Erde, Mother Earth, is of unknown origin, but claims to be not only the spirit of her nation, but also the spirit of the planet. The guardians are ready to spread their ideas through force. Through force, their military leaders are already preparing for battle by attacking each other whenever possible. Climate change. Oh, we have climate change. Uh, guard guardians feel that temperature turbulences could harm their beloved leader. Cooperation of species, the state of Gardenia has achieved equality between all inhabitants, people, plants and animals. Sapling of a nation, the state of Gardenia is young but eager to grow. Okay, strength through soy. <laughs> okay, environmental empress. At last, Germany is unified under the benign but firm rule of our empress and goddess. Alright, uh, next we have the Handestadt Pommes. The rich traders of Handestadt Pommes have been drawing attention to their prosperity not just by the annual fast food festival. I think that Pommes in German is uh, potatoes. Though small, the maritime nation is far from undefended, as money can buy the best weaponry on sale. Alright. And we have some kind of a Viking state here. The Viking king who united Scandinavia. Yeah, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Died in 900 AD. Surprising for everybody. He is now back and he might be responsible for this unusual gaming experience by the way he might be a cyborg oh my all right so um i think i will go for the prussian boner because that is sounds like 
that sounds like an amazing country to play. So let's see what we can do with the Prussian boner. <laughs> that should probably be like a nickname for, I don't know, like 60% of Paradox players. So let's see what we have in the focus tree in here. Nothing new with laws and ministers. Though we do have one new minister. Bam, bam, I don't know. Uh, so what do we have in here? Checkmate strategy. Army with a boner or a boner with a state. Okay. Fight of the Adler. What is this? The Prussian eagle was reborn in Silesia, but which path will he take? Alright, so let's just try some of these focuses. We'll go for the... Uh, yeah, we'll go for the checkmate strategy first. Let's see, are there any decisions in here? These are debug decisions. Mm, nothing that I can see here. As far as technology, not, not much is new. Let's just get some technology going in here. Sadly, we have only two factories. Um, but I think that, yeah, this focus will give us some factories. Let's just see how the game goes. I wonder if we have new generals. Oh, we have Napoleon. Oh, good for us. And we have our country leader as a field marshal. <laughs> Alright, so let's just put him in charge of the army. That's awesome. Now, see one of these focuses will allow us to conquer the other nations. the tree huggers. <laughs> okay, I actually want to take a look at some of the focus trees of these other <laughs> Let's see. Uh, avoid the tree huggers. Review Fortnite. Review Mortal Kombat. Review Plants vs. Zombies. Okay. Alright, so let's see what the Prussian boner state can do. Bavaria declared war on Free State Bavaria. Oh, looks like they have a civil war. Oh dear. All right, I won't even ask. Let's uh, get our boner <laughs> with the state. So that we can... Uh, do we get civilian or military factories? Okay. That's cool, because right now I can't even have any equipment. Now, surprisingly, uh, Germany is actually here in the game as well. I'm not sure how do they respond to this whole new situation. I don't actually see any change in the focus tree, uh, which is a shame. It could have been interesting. But I guess we're just meant to conquer Germany with, uh, with these uh, made-up nations. Alright, I think we got the idea of the mod. 
this is clearly some kind of a humorous mod, so uh, I definitely enjoyed the humor. Uh, I think that uh, for a mod like this, uh, there was quite a, quite an effort put into it uh, to make uh, the things work even the way that they work right now. Now, the mod currently is not compatible with the latest version of the game, but uh, that can easily be fixed. Now, I do want to take a look at the at the error log just so that we can see what's going on in there. Let me just uh, switch this thing over here and let's drag the error log over here. All right, so let's see what do we have in here. So there are some localization issues. Um, Obviously, let's see what this is. Oh yeah, they forgot the colon in some places. Uh, what else? Um, there seems to be a missing graphic in here. There's a lot of lead DDD in ideas, I think. Let's just take a look at the folder of the mod and see exactly what it means. Uh, one sec, I'll need to find it. And that's not the one. Let's see. Um, yeah, that's the one. Okay, I'm just curious to see what's this lead DDD. So let's go to common ideas DDD. Uh, let's see what this thing is. Uh huh. All right, not sure exactly what they were trying to do here. Uh, this is this doesn't look like something that will work actually. Uh, maybe it was supposed to be an icon because I don't see an icon in here, so that's probably supposed to be that. I'm not sure. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, all right, that's when you specify a couple of uh, modifiers a couple of times. Um, okay, we have this thing as well. So a lot of issues with the idea files. Now, I just want to make it clear, I'm not criticizing or anything. I'm just curious to see um, what things may go wrong when other people develop their mods. So uh, it's interesting to take a look at these things. Uh, we have some duplicate ideas. Interesting, why is that happening? Um, it's hard to believe that they actually added the same idea a couple of times. Um, yeah, I actually don't see anything here that should cause that. It's possible that the idea was added a couple of times. Let's just take a look at this. And see if they have it in here and maybe if they have it in here as well. It doesn't seem to be here. In here now. Maybe in this file. In this file. This file. And in here. Okay, so for some reason uh, the game thinks that there is a duplicate idea. It could be, ah, actually I know why it's happening. It's probably happening because these ideas already exist in the, in the vanilla game. And because there are two files that contain the same ID, right? So in the idea files, this is the ID of the idea. And when it sees two IDs that are ident identical, even if you are putting them in a mod, but the same idea exists in the vanilla game, then it will recognize it as a duplicate idea. So it's just about uh, changing or giving some kind of a prefix to your own ideas. For example, uh, in my Cold War mod, you will notice that a lot of the stuff that I create, I give it the prefix CW, which stands for Cold War. And that way I actually um, spare myself the possibility of having something being duplicated with the vanilla game. And it's also much easier to recognize 
in case I am incorporating something into an existing file that has some vanilla stuff in it. Uh, all right, let's see what else do we have in here. Um, invalid war goal puppet. Hmm, that's interesting. I want to actually take a look at that. Let's see. National focus. D D D D D D D D D D D. <laughs> okay. Um, let's take a look at that. I'm just interested to see what this is. Huh. Create war goal. Type puppet. Target PRB. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure that the war goals um, are actually named that way. Let's just uh, take a look at the vanilla game. Let's see. Puppet. 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 Right. It's called puppet war goal focus. So that is why. Uh, it's not working with these since uh, it doesn't have a war goal called uh, just puppet, right? Uh, okay, so we have some more issues in here in a valid effect. That is just probably some coding uh, problems that come up when you create a lot of well, when you create a lot of uh, a lot of focuses, it does tend to make things a little bit more difficult. Uh, let's just find the mod again. And uh, occasionally you do come up with uh, errors like that. Um, let's see where the mod is. Okay, should be this one. Okay. I'm just uh, curious to see what happened in here. So let's go to national focus. Uh, PRB, PRB, line 503. Let's see what's going on in there. Probably a coding issue. So let's see, the focus closes correctly. Add war support. Yeah, um, I'm not sure that's the correct code for war support. And also add state core mm, yeah there's like a lot of weird stuff in here um, yeah yeah this this most of this will probably not work um, I have to really compare it in with the hoi for Viki to be to be completely sure but I'm pretty sure that's not the correct code to do these effects uh, so unknown effect types, that's the same stuff, probably that's coming from the, as a continuation from the focus trees. Uh, what else do we have in here? Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Some ideas not working and we have some flag, right? So it seems that the flags are probably, um, in 32 bits instead of 24 um sorry they're in 24 instead of uh, 32 uh, and that happens when you save the flags incorrectly and some uh, graphic programs actually don't let you choose the parameter as far as i remember uh, creating the flags in uh, paint.net actually saves them in the correct format so you shouldn't be getting an error like this at least I didn't when I saved them. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff with the flags. Uh, let's see what else. And da, 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 da. and we seem to have some kind of issues with uh, with uh, OB files, right? So uh, army files that units seem to be positioned incorrectly or. Um, the the templates are not are not being recognized because when you create a template in an army file uh, each unit that you create needs to be assigned uh, to a template and if there's like misspelling and stuff like that then that will not work all right so uh, according to uh, dorky dave uh, the mod is supposed to have 
a big update coming up soon. So I will probably take a look at it once the update has been released. Uh, I do have to say, uh, Dorky Dave, overall, good job. I mean, really, the, the, the graphics, the, the writing uh, for, a, for a mod uh, of this type, it's really, it's really awesome. It, it really is. Uh, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it quite a bit. All right, so this is the conclusion of the mod breakdown, the Dawn of the Dork. Uh, I will have a link to Dorky Dave's YouTube channel in the comment and to the mod in case you want to take a look at it yourself. Maybe you'll want to join Dorky Dave and expand the mod to become uh, the new Kaiserreich. I don't know. That, that could actually be <laughs> quite funny. Um, so um, that's it. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video lesson tutorial on the Iron Workshop. Bye-bye.